friends. Today we're reading The Animals of Buttercup Farm. Look at this farm. All the children in the neighborhood like to visit Buttercup Farm. There are meadows and barns and barnyards to explore. But best of all, there are lots of animals. The first thing the children do is visit the ponies in the fields, yellow with buttercups. Everyone always gets a free pony ride. Buttercups are these flowers. Farmer John's mare has just had her new spring foal. The foal looks funny trotting on his long wobbly legs, but soon he will be galloping along with his mother. The cows have their own pasture to graze in. They munch on grass all day long. The cows look le like they are ready to be milked, thinks Farmer John. The calves stay in the barnyard until they are old enough to join their mothers. Midnight, one of the barn cats keeps them company. She gives the calf a friendly lick and the calf licks her back. Farmer John has milked the cows in the barn and now it is time for them to graze in the fields again. This newborn calf wishes she were old enough to go with them. All right, so here's the black cat kissing the calf, right? There they're going, coming back out of the barn. And there's the little calf gets to be with her mommy again. Farmer John rewards the cats for catching mice in the barn. He saves a bucket of warm, foamy, fo of warm, foamy milk, especially for them. There are always lots of new kittens in the barn. They get their milk from their mother. The kittens are very curious about everything that is going on. Soon their mother will be teaching them how to catch mice. So here's the little, little tin pail, just like little Sal's tin pail. Yeah, there's all the kittens Farmer John was talking about. Red hens and brown hens and speckled hens all go cluck, cluck, cluck when they see Farmer John coming. First he feeds them and then he collects their eggs in a wire basket. This hen is still in her nesting box. She has just laid warm brown eggs. Tammy lives down the road from Buttercup Farm. She comes every day to feed her favorite chicken. Tammy has raised her since she was a little chick. Tammy's chicken is very tame. She likes Tammy to carry her. Do you want to have a chicken for a pet? On the first sunny day of spring, Mother Hen shows her chicks all the corners of the farm and good hiding places under the blackberry bush. Farmer John's dog is out playing too. The chicks go beep beep all around him. He wonders if they will be his friend. I think this is my favorite page. There's the hen. Look at this little dog, I love it. So cute. The rooster struts around shaking his big, big red comb and showing off his fancy tail. He is sure that he is the king of the barnyard. The proud old gander parades up and down and honks at everything he sees. He thinks that he is the king. Right, there are a lot of animals on the farm. The rest of the geese run back and forth inside their pen, honk, honk, honk. What a lot of noise they make. This goose has found a quiet spot to lay her eggs. Soon goslings will hatch out of the eggs. The ducks love to swim in the pond. Mike thinks it would be fun to give his pet duck a bath, but first he must catch him. The tiny pink piglets are all lined up for lunch. They look like a little row of piggy banks. The mother sow is enormous. She lies there patiently giving them her milk. Oink, oink, they squeal as they greedily shove and push each other. The mother sow is looking for her food now. She needs to eat a lot so she can make enough milk for all her piglets. This little pig has had enough to eat. He is taking a nap. Now it's time to play. All the brothers and sisters like to play piggyback. 
Piggy in the middle, and Piggy on top. They play all sorts of Piggy games until they are hungry again. Oh, it's my favorite page. There's a new litter of rabbits on Buttercup Farm. They huddle around their mother inside the rabbit hutch. They are the quietest animals on the farm. When they hear a noise, their long pink ears stand right up and they wiggle. This rabbit turns around to see if his special friend is here. So cute. Kate has come to pet him. She visits every day after school. At first, the little rabbit is shy, but now he likes to be held. All the other rabbits are happy to see her too. She brings carrots and lettuce for all of them. When Kate has to leave, her special friend stands up to say goodbye. This is so cute. You're gonna love this so much. Look at this. And there's Kate. Now I'd like to have a bunny for a pet. The goats are very frisky today. They leap and they butt each other and frolic in the tall grass. Mah! Says a goat from his stall inside the barn. He wants to play outside too. Farmer John has a big flock of sheep. They graze in the fields with their new spring lambs. The sheep are still wearing their woolly winter coats. Do you remember thinking, thinking, thinking with Mary had a little lamb? His fleece was white as snow. Soon it will be shearing time. Jody's favorite animals are the little lambs. They always like to be cuddled. Aww, one lamb was very small and weak when he was born. Emmy has been taking good care of him. Now he is almost as big as the other lambs. Soon he will be too big to carry around, but he and Emmy will always be good friends. Let's give him kisses. Good night, little lamb, says Emmy from the barn door. I'll see you tomorrow. All of Farmer John's animals are inside now. They have had a long day and are ready for a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be another busy day on, butter, on Buttercup Farm. And we all say, the end.